Good day, friends. Good day, humans. It's absolutely brilliant. Day, mid of May, 2017. Amazing things are happening in the world. Yet, many people are seeing it as a failure. What Le Pen did not come as a president at this time. Yet what I see it, it's more like just a final straw was drawn for the dark ones to let them be in the ignorance they are still in. Prime Creator allowed these kind of fakery and theft to proceed this one more time see really and to feel what the people will going to do all the other countries and nations as well the French people within the France consider in the background happened so much as of yesterday we have a new financial system in place totally invisibly implemented, which reflects a true value of one nation's wealth, its gold and silver backed, it's fully transparent and it will adjust through the next couple of maybe less than two years, we will have a full transition from these fake dollars and will be replaced or fake currencies will be replaced with a, a real currency. You'll see more and more new prints of these new dollars that will be printed by, not by, but they reserve it, it was done before and it will not be borrowed from any kind of central banks. It will be a national currency produced printed and backed fully with each individual country reason why it has done like this so invisibly it's simply not to cause so much stir and uh, panic among the let's say common and and very average people because average people right away think about its demise for themselves we will not have food we cannot raise the money from the bank even if it's fake money on the previous occasions and we will not be able to buy our foods or pay our rent or whatever they have to do with this yet this process will just be like pouring water into the bucket of oil but slowly pouring in and then the water will penetrate through the thick layer of oil just go underneath and raise up all the dirt as as we're pouring a full currency it's like a valuable gold back currencies inside it will just raise all this like oil, petrodollars, outside. Anyway, that was not what I was talking about today. It's about, this is a title, fake gods with false rules through the fake news. It's kind of a religious rant. Usually I'm not against anything. I'm usually for something. Yet this is like a rare occasion where I will just bash any form of religion. But I'm talking any. Not only false Christianity or false Muslimhood or a, a false New Agehood, whatever, the fake masteries, fake angels and so on. These are all to me are religions. 
but the toughest of all was religion of the fake dollar. How did they implement this all over us? Bible is one of the big fakeries. And you can read it this way, you can translate it that way, yet nobody really even consider that maybe it's all fake, all from the scratch. Maybe there's like some lines that you can say, yeah, right, this sounds very true. How do you know that this figure, Jesus, took all your sins away? And we have such a devastation for the last 2000 years. Where is the proof? that he was hanging on the cross and then you will be saved you as a leftover of the humanity here on planet because I don't see that anybody has been saved how do you know that he has a last dinner last supper, whatever we call it that our Leonardo da Vinci made a, a such a, a beautiful depiction of what was there who was there, yet they did not see who was on the menu. It was a humanity of Jesus. So during that times, Jesus was on the menu, yet not in any kind of allegorical ways, but a literal ways. He was sacrificed. He was ritualistically put you know, into the pieces and all his blood and flesh was eaten. Yet if you consider that this is all exaggeration or maybe this is like a just some kind of a strange imagination of mine, I tell you just to watch what Christians, priests and these guys with the hoods and skirts are doing during the ceremonies in the Catholic Church. They are giving you every time you go on Sunday Mass to eat a body of Christ. And you drink the wine as a blood of Christ. This is nothing else but a pure ritualistic and sacrificial move. Well, why? why this really falsified rules that they were brought into a religion, Christianity. The Muslim religion as well has tremendous amount of really fake news in there. It now will just stay within the Christianity. So eating or devouring body of Christ once a week, drinking blood of Christ whenever you have a wine to me it's nothing else but the ritual that feeds the entity that controls the church or churches or this new religion movement new ages Muslim Judaism and Christianity in a global scale I'm not talking about this stream or the, every single one there is not a single religion that is absolutely connected with the prime creator's source energy, purely connected there. There is not a single religion. As soon as you reach with your foot across the threshold of any kind of church or synagogue or uh, any of these New Age teachings, spiritual centers and so on what you're doing you're giving your consent to respect these fake gods who are creating fake rules and when you find out eventually who these fake gods were you'll be quite quite upset yet I'm trying just to prepare all of you who want to hear at that time what's going to happen so we can do the same application on the fake news, they are just 
wandering around and just roaming our airways, our TV screens on a daily basis? Do we believe everything what we see? Do we believe everything what we read in the history books? Concerning who's writing usually the history? Why the rising of one empire goes into the process of burning all the books or whatever, destroying all the informations from the previous centuries or previous civilization that lived in their own ways and always from history way beyond. In Greece, before the Greece, in Egypt, later in, let's call it modern, two, three thousand years from now, it was always the same story. There is somebody who was sacrificed for your own sins. There is nothing, I'm telling you, repeating again, there is nothing that others can do for your sins. Not even Jesus or any other deity, deity that you've been taught that he will take over your transgressions. So, what's the point of all this? Why are they faking you so much? Why they, they're not faking you only like for 10, 20, 30 years. They're faking you for 10, 20, 30 centuries at the time. And from whatever was before was absolutely deleted. You don't have access to this, like to the true information. You, sa you have some glimpses of fake news through the tales or maybe, you know, the stories that were kept on, uh, through the word of mouth, yet whatever was written, it just gets deleted, it gets burned. So when you're questioning why they're doing this, why the Clintons at the present moment are trying so badly to delete all their wrongdoings through the servers, why the WikiLeaks is one of the best anti-religious movements or anti-fake news movements in the world simply because it's bringing truth out but it's up to you to see it because absolutely almost everyone is ignoring it is ignoring Julian Assange's comments yet it's seeping through like a sand going through the sand clock one grain at a time one information one truth at a time So why Trump is absolutely livid on this fake news? They don't want to stop accusing everybody else around, not even considering why they're doing it. Because they're terrified of the truth. Yet in many other instances where I said, the truth will just piss you badly, badly. Yet after that, you'll see some true light or you'll see some light in the truth that it starts wandering around and it starts roaming into the, the consciousness of all of us here walking. So you see me, I'm not bringing much of the alien invasion that was going on for hundreds of thousands of years on the planet. Yet many scholars scientists or whoever archaeologists are going max three to five thousand years ago and they're digging some scrolls they will teach us again another fake news just in a different format so what is the point of all my talking i just want to tell you that whatever you hear whatever you mean brought up upon through the religious teachings through the scientific teachings through the sociological teachings and the most important through let's call it medical advancements or the way how they treat illnesses healings are all fake they're there to imprison you even more so when i say go to creationlightship.com to me this is the only and ultimate place to get healed 
to get healed completely without any doubt in my mind, in my heart, that you can reach a point where you can much easier recognize who's bullshitting you on a daily basis on the news or in the family who is abusing you and your energies, you'll be able to say it, basta, no more. Simply after visiting one of the Ron Amitron's healing sessions. There's many free ones, but he has about 500, I think 50 other different, like very specific ones for all kind of illnesses that we've been as a humanity uh, exposed. Most of them, I think all of them related with the alien infestation that infested our planet, that infested our energy field, that infested the energetics of the planet in itself, and especially it infested our teachings, our history, our way of observing the reality. So once when we transmute this, that we've been tricked for so many, many thousands of years, it'll be much easier to go forward. Otherwise, we will just be walking as zombies, as robots, into the next incarnation where you think it will be something different. No, you have a nice, beautiful change, chance right now to, to do this differently. Start being of the service to others, but only through the truth, only through the strict kindness and dedication that you want to bring only truth. And there's nothing else that will save you but your own 